Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Thursday Live. I am Denise Arminio, Certified Emotion Code, Body Code Group, Energy Facilitator, and Genius Biofeedback Practitioner, and I am here with Claire McIntyre. And today, we are going to be going over all the updates for the Quanta, Quanta Capsule and just doing a little, I'm gonna share the screen and try to go through as much as I can um, <clears throat> on my, on this um, Zoom view. And I will also go hop a little bit between the Genius and the Zoom so you can see it together. So if anybody does have uh, specific questions on the Quanta Capsule, we can get to them. Um, there are a few things that I just want to go over and make sure that everybody understands before we really get started. And I'm going to read it. That way I don't forget anything. Um, so just bear with me um, for a minute. But um, the items that have changed on the Quanta Capsule with this latest update is... Um, that number one, the um, recent Quanta Capsule updates provide the ability to auto load pending scans. So I will be showing you that. Um, and when a user creates a cap Quanta Capsule profile, their profile is linked by their email address. So we will also um, be able to show you how to make sure that you link that up in the client records um, through the genius. Um, the next thing is when you import the pending voice scan from the client records page, you are importing their profile based upon their linked Quanta email. So all this is really important because you might set up duplicate client records. Um, and then again, um, in here, the third point is that this causes a conflict if you already have the same user loaded as a customer within your Genius app. You will now have two clients who are essentially the same person. Your current Genius client with no active email address and then the new client with an active email account. To resolve this, navigate to your to your access past clients and then edit and add their email details. Make sure you add their Quanta email address. It must be their Quanta email if they have a Quanta capsule. And remember, we only save the last five scan results. This ensures when you click on the load pending scans that the correct client's profile and email will be loaded into the Genius and the new Quanta update will also allow for the date of birth to be auto-populated within your genius. And the software release notes can be found on the software download links. Now, I will tell you um, on the MacBook Air, um, you cannot update the birth date yet. So I will... When you see mine, you will see that it's not there, but on my phone it is. So I'll try to hold up my phone so that you can see that. Um, in the meantime, let me just go to share my screen right, right now with you. So I think everybody should be able to see both, right, Claire? Everybody can see yep. everything there, great. Um, so the first thing that we would do now, first, um, you can see I'm going to use myself. So I'm going to be the practitioner on the genius and also the client on the Quanta capsule, just so that there's no confusion. You understand what's happening. It was just easier to do it this way. Um, you can see that I have pending scans and voice and image uploaded now if i am the reason why we did it this way is because we don't want any hipaa violations so if you had multiple scans pending you wouldn't see any names so if you click on it um now you can see my name here um 
and I'm allowing it and it's all okay. So we're not violating anything. This is just for demonstration. I am not going to click on it because actually I'm going to go into the Quanta capsule, which you can see here on the right. This is um, the pro my profile and it's under my profile. And if you have um, an iPhone, or check your device on whatever you're viewing it on. You should see under profile, and I know I'm skipping around, um, this is my phone. So you can see it says um, your date of birth in there, and I've already added it in. Um, there is a little correction that will need to be updated. I think it if the birthday was not added in, it's in Italian <laughs> for right now. So um, we put that report in, but just so you know, it still works. And once you add your birth date in, it converts to English. So that will be corrected. So now if I just back out here um, and we go into uh, the navigation area, and here is all this is the back office essentially so this is where i just was in my profile and now if i go and upload my voice and image let's do that so everybody can see so it's going to ask you your genius email required and i am going to put in my email they are both the same so i'm going to put in my email in here that would be for my genius not the quanta capsule okay whoops i have a little spelling mistake in there question okay. for me because i see you're on that's on 6.8.3 did your update come through or where do you see that? Um, under your profile. It was at the bottom. Huh, because I just I just added it. So let me see. Good catch. Sorry, I have all my. So oh. for 6.8.3 on there. Uh... It's mine that wasn't showing the birth date was 6.8.2 okay well i think everything else is working so because i only updated this i mean i added this from the um application store today so it should have been the most updated okay um let me just see That's perhaps okay. I'm, I'm behind yeah let me just see if there's an update here. I don't know what that will. Um... Yeah, interesting, because I'm looking. I know you guys can't see this version history. Let's just see. So th the latest one when you on the App Store is 6.8. Point three. So, well, that's probably part of the reason. But anyway, and it is eight point five on my phone. So we'll we'll put in a report for that. But anyway, so let's just go back to where we were. We're going to go into the back office, and here is where I can upload my voice and image. I'm going to add my email again to my practitioner, which in this case is also me. Okay, and I'm going to hit okay. And now I can upload my voice. So I am just going to hit record. Denise Michelle Arminio, A E I O U. A E I O U A E I O U and the 15 seconds is complete and down here at the bottom I can hit upload voice and it says I was successful and now I can take a picture and I'm just going to click the little camera on the bottom 
and we can use this photo. And now I can upload this image as well. And hit finish. Okay, so now that is complete. So um, I don't know how long it takes to update. Hold on now, let me. So for the client, they just did their part, whatever they need to do before their Quanta Capsule session. So now me as the practitioner, I can go in and I see pending scans and um, I'm going to click on that and so we're just going to go right here to the bottom. Hold on. That's just showing. Who... So now if I click continue with new analysis. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I need to go into access my client records first. Okay, sorry. I forgot that little step. So let's go to access your client records. And I'm going to put in my name. Oh. Sorry, I have a little, and we want to go to edit. So if anybody puts in, um, puts in the chat, if you need me to do that again so that you can see it, but you have to hit edit, not um, go into the scan. And here is where I want to add in my um, email address that's associated with the Quanta capsule. So I'm going to type in my email again. Okay, my birth date is in there, my full name. And now I can hit save. So now when we go back out, um, this is not um, really adding, it's not starting the new client. It's just to tell you, show you who you have a pending um, information from. Claire, that's your sense, right? Yeah, and then what you do is you continue with the new analysis and then- Or do you... I have to go, I have to go into my client records to do it? No, continue with new analysis at the bottom. And now uh, I just hit, now import. I can import. And now I type in. If you tap add to your members, you, yeah. Yeah, this is the part I didn't want to, I think I just hit okay. Denise Michelle Arminio, A-E-I-O. U A E Okay, so now that it's um, imported that, you can hit the voice harmonics and you will still hear the tone. Are you hearing it, Claire? Yeah. Intermittently. <laughs> I think I forgot to hit, hold on a second. The, um, yeah, I forgot to hit the little. Okay, hopefully it works now because it makes me turn off the voice isolation. So um, now we can click next. Well, we've just got your font capsule screen, so we haven't got the oh. screen. Now you have both, right? Yes. Okay. So now I can just click continue. And here is the new picture. I have the same shirt on, so you can tell I just took the picture of it. 
And I can hit begin analysis here. And are you hearing the sound on that? Because I didn't really hear sound on that. A little bit. Um, I'm going to bypass the affirmation on this today. Um, you know what I always put it in on that. We can hit begin analysis. And I'm just going to, it's not making the noise. Um. Hold on, guys. This sound thing is annoying. Let's just see. I'm just going to do a quick um, balance here for a second to see if we could hear it. Do you hear it? Intermittent. Okay, says no, Claire. <laughs> well, it's sort of intermittent at at best very uh, low yeah well we may not hear i don't know why it's not the sounds coming off unless i turn off the share sound um okay so let's just um let's just go into system overview We need to do <clears throat> so we could do begin analysis here. If anybody has their quanta capsules and they can work along with me, I would recommend that you do that. Just that way, if you run into any glitches, we can try to um, troubleshoot them now. Okay, so um, let's go to system overview. And I'm just going to add in the top 50, bottom 50. And I'll do that again after I remove the libraries. So now I have my 200 items and I'm going to hit the play to go to the main hold tray. We can hit analysis, begin analysis. And I do not hear any sound in here, guys, but it's OK because it all goes through the quantum field. So, um, OK, so I'm just going to hit um, the highs. I'm just going to work with the highs and I'm going to run that for, let's just, I'll put it on zero and run it for 30 seconds. We don't even have to run it that long, but we can stop it now. Um, okay, so I had a good rectification on this. It's 66%. So now I can export this to um, the capsule. And I'm just going to put now my email address again. And I'm going to hit add. And now I could hit OK. I'm at and it says email sent to users down on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to read, but it's, it will tell you down where that percent rectification is. So now I will get an email, hopefully, and here it is. So I'm just gonna show it this way. So here's the email that came through and I know you guys can't read it, but I'm going to type in. So now I can go to my Quanta capsule and I'm going to go to hit the navigation bars at the top to the back office. And it says import my quanta code. So here we are. And now I can um, type it in. Um. 
Okay, and now if I just hit okay, and here it is. So it's going to expire in seven in six days. Today count it's not counting today, so you have seven days. Um, there are two free bonus playlists that you can listen to. And now I'm just gonna hit load. Okay, so these are all the items that showed up that I played for about those 16 seconds. Um, when you see it here, it's in alphabetical order. Um, these are not uh, on the Genius. They're in their high, medium, and low. So that's why it's hard to see some of these that are coming up. But you can see C1 here. Um, where's baby sh shots loaded? Oh, well, I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> so, um, okay, so now I can choose to add all these items to the tray up here by pressing on the, yep, Lisa, did you have a question? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to add all items to the tray. And if we look at the tray, you can see that they're all here. Okay, so there's 93 items. And then this is similar to when we're using the Genius, right? You can set the timer here. I'm going to put it down to zero so I can just play it for as long as I want. And I can hit play. But we also have the option now to go in here, to go back in here, and we can look at the change my frequency, shape, and form. So you can either use the default tone generator or you can go to the archetype encoding, which is where I like to put it. And at 50%, um, we can put in, take away the chimes and bells and maybe just do nature sounds. And maybe I want to have inner bliss instead of addictions and... Um, mood enhancement and then we can go and i would put it on alternating now for everybody who's the practitioner out there your clients are not going to know what any of this stuff means so i would really suggest that after you know your session you instruct them on you know what they should be filling out here because they're going to have no idea um unless they are a genius user themselves so Anyway, that would be my recommendation for that. And then you can arrow out and then hit play. And now we have that fun graphic. I'm sorry we don't have sound. Maybe it's because I have the two of these sharing. I don't know. And I can stop it. Okay, there is not a percent rectification on this, so it's just um, running for the amount of time. The other thing you can also talk to your client about is that they could add fractals to their balancing. So if they click on, um, again, I can show you where, I, whoops, where I was, um, add fractals to my balancing. And they can choose one of these. So let's choose um, every day I feel myself get better and better and I am strong and fearless. So if I begin on that and now hit the play button, now you can see I have a whole new experience on what I am looking at and viewing. The I do have it on zero minutes, so the timer on the bottom isn't really showing like the red going across the bottom. And I believe if I hit this stop, I think this stop, this button up at the top right stops the fractals or, or just stops everything altogether. So if we were to hit the back arrow now out of here, now we're back to this um, main tray and we can open that up. There is also the timer again down here if you wanted to change it. 
and you see it change the time that you're setting it to is over here on the bottom right hand side um access my report okay the reason why that's um i have to go into the genius if you want to send them their report i can back out of here and go to the back office and go to reports and now if you go to quick overview report and click on that you can see down at the bottom it says export to capsule i may have missed the boat on this one guys because i've already loaded this so i don't know if it's going to show up um I have a feeling this won't work because I didn't do it ahead of time, but I'm just showing you so you have a sense. So it says the report shared. So let's just see what happens if we go into here. I don't think it's going to work from here. Um, oh, it did. Look at that. Okay. So here is my report. And now you can see it shows everything that we just saw on the Genius. It's showing on the Quanta Capsule. So that's kind of neat information for your clients to be looking at. Uh, hmm. Does this look different? Well, this looks different. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so we'll have to... Are, is everything else here the same? Yeah. So 90, 90, hold on guys. I just want to make sure this is the same 10%. Oh yeah, no, it's right. I guess I just couldn't see the to the toxicity one on the bottom. Okay. So it's exactly the same. So if your clients, you know, like getting all this information, which they probably do, you can send them this information as well from the back office. And if you're, let's just see, if you want to shop the Genius Nutrition, so if your client wants to buy any of the new supplements that we have from here, they would put your the, the practitioner's email address in. And I'm not going to do it because it's going to take me off this screen, but you, in this case, me being the practitioner, I would type in my email address, hit got it, and it would take me to the supplements page on the Insight Health Apps um, website. And there they can select whatever supplements they wanted and can purchase them right through there. So that's really neat. Um thing for them to be able to use. The other thing, um, again, your, uh, you can take your little course for the Quanta capsule and get your certificate of completion. And your custom playlists are in here. So this again is gonna have, this is what we saw before. You can edit this. So if I wanted to take, this is the email that I did today. I could hit the little edit button and I can call this playlist something. So I could say, Denise, uh, what's today's date? Seven, seven, six, 23 session and hit okay. And now, um, and now they know if they have multiple sessions or multiple codes, what those codes are. So it's just easier for them to track it. Um, and this up down button is just going to show you what is included. What are the items in that playlist? Again, for the client, I don't know, you know, some clients that may be helpful for, but, um, or, not sometimes they just like looking at it 
Um, is there anything else? Any you can clear your playlist. I don't want to. Will it clear? Will it clear automatically if I go into clear my playlist here? Well, it says just the tray there, doesn't it? So it should just clear the tray, but we don't need to clear the tray. Um, instructions. Um, if you go into instructions, this just gives you videos on to watch on setting up and registering and how to use the Quanta capsule, but those probably aren't as updated as this current video is right now. So make sure you <laughs> save this and know where to find it on YouTube under Inside Health Apps. Um, trying to think, track my aura. This is a great little function. Uh, I don't have access to it right now, but um, if any of your clients want to pay the $1.99 monthly fee, they, you will be able to send them their aura pictures. So you might have clients that they may like to get that information from. So that's what that is. And is there anything else in here that someone would like me to cover that I didn't already cover? If you wanna change your password, you can do that by going here and log out we don't need to do delete accounts that um claire what um i forget on this one sorry guys this is all brand new to us too um if they delete account there, then it will remove the quanta capsule and it will also remove Everywhere. them from your um your database on the genius, I believe. So um just be careful bef before you go into that. Um so and this is again um where you can access those videos if you haven't used the quanta capsule before we don't need to look at it and here is also where you can, if i click on this remove all items from tray clear main tray yes and then if i just wanted to add a few items you could see now that the main whole tray is clear and if i just wanted to hit a few items i could just drag and drop them Again, you know, for clients, you're going to have to be really specific on some of this stuff. I would usually always advise them just to add all the items to the tray. But maybe if it's someone that, you know, is a little bit more sophisticated or knows how the genius works, they may just want to add a few items in here. Or you can tell them just work on one item today. That would have to be instructions for from you as a practitioner to the client, but right now I just have these five items that I entered randomly and then you could hit play and run those. So that's how that all works. And so let's just see on the chat, is there anything, any other questions for anybody in there um, or on something other areas that you have not that you've wanted to ask and haven't i've been trying to keep up margaret had um a good question regarding do okay. you have, have to send everything that is um from the quant from the genius you mean yeah from the genius and actually you know choose yeah, you get to select what frequencies you send. So, right, just like, whoops, I'll show you, Margaret. So, if I click on the, if we're in Progressive Insights, whichever ones you select and then hit Export to Capsule will be the ones that go, that are included on that code. But you can conceivably send multiple codes, if you so choose, to your client. Let's say you just, maybe you want to send them the um, bioterrain um, 
or just some minerals and say run your minerals first and then go to my session you know the next um whatever frequencies you run so you could send them two codes that's uh really up to you and then they would have to upload and work with two codes at a time um but yeah you don't have to send everything on here just whatever is checked off and you it's not just checking off you ha actually have to hit play so you know you could put it on play and run it for five seconds and it would still go but it has to run for a certain amount of time um did that answer all your questions margaret i'm just trying to read them all it, is there any option for the future just to have a playlist as is from a session without having to add or select some well yeah i would just have them add all items to tray to the tray margaret that way they don't have to make any decisions there um pam is asking if a person has different emails for the genius and quanta capsule how will you work with that well pam for me right now i have them both set up at this as the same one i but i'm different i've got what? one quant capsule and my genius under a different email and that works fine it depends yeah that's what i'm saying going, yeah you're not actually going to be sending them frequencies to the genius so That would, need, that, yeah, yeah. Need to know how you are meaning there, Pam. How will you work with that? You just send frequencies to their quant capsule. Is that answering everybody's question, Pam? Are you do you understand? And Margaret, did we answer your questions? I'm trying to see who else. Uh... I think. Okay, so Rosemary, I'm just going up a little higher, um, asks, couldn't I have tapped add my members when and pick yours and go back instead of, in yes, Rosemary, I could have. I chose to do it that way because I did not want my other uh, quant Quanta Capsule um, members to show up on the YouTube here. So I, that was a deliberate thing for me to do so that I don't reveal everybody else's email addresses so that I could keep it private. Um, and I think I've went through all these questions. If anybody has a question that wasn't answered, um, please let me no, or you can unmute yourself and oh there's more questions that just popped in okay so lisa i was finding frequency shape and form was showing up for a client as i had ran them for the person this was before the update do you know if this will still be the case with this update well let's see um it may have to be set up ahead of time, but let's just see where I was here. So I did update my computer yesterday, so that might be the case. So thank you, Lisa. That may be what, um, why mine were not showing up there. So, um, I will have to, everybody, I would just say take note of that for right now because I would have to back out and see if that happened. But that makes a lot of sense. So thanks, Lisa. And anyone else? Should you just want to unmike? Do you, does anybody have questions on any other topics while we're here? 
Margaret's asking the question whether the fractals changed or was that just for the MacBook Air? Um, I think, well, I don't know. I have my phone here, so let's look. I think I they've think always been seen. like that, actually. Yeah. It's quite a good range there. So the here's the fractals on my phone. I think it's the same. They're just in a different order. Clarity, clarity, white, every day. So if I go into the fractals here, they're just displayed differently, but they're the same. I don't know if you could read them. They're all the same ones. When, oh, you're saying the graphics look different? Oh, that I don't know. Um, I don't have any in my phone um, to to test that out. I like the ones on the um, water harmonizer, actually, similar. That I'm seeing on my Mac. I don't know what the ones are on the, on the they look phone. different on the iPhone or not. That's what you're saying, Margaret, right? Is that they look different? Okay, so that which ones do you have? Which do you have selected though, Claire? Which one is that? Maybe it's for the different. Uh, da, da, da. I don't remember which I had selected. Clarity. Clarity. Okay, so let's just put clarity on, and. Let me oh, that's a different looking. That looks different. And there's no sound again. Hmm. All right, well, let's see if a different one does a different. Let's see. Uh, let's see what joy. Oh, did I not hit? Hold on. In. It still looks different, right? On mine? That's different, yeah. <laughs> oh, but that's sort of. Thank you. I don't know. We'll have to investigate that. I don't know what, what's the right, <laughs> probably what's ever on your iPad or phone is correct. As sometimes it's going to look different on the um, MacBook Air. And that was the, that was the one we had selected for clarity. I don't even know if they, they should look somewhat different. We can hit joy. Does yours look different? If what does it yours look like if you hit joy? Yeah, see mine mine are coming back to it's like the water harmonizer ones. I'm not getting the full um picturesque landscape that you are. Yeah, so I I don't know. We'll have to ask Ryan about that. So, again, any, like, odd things that you guys are finding, just um, email. You could email me or support, and we'll get an answer for you on that. But I don't I don't know what it was supposed to look like. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry. I don't know which one is, is, is the correct version of it. But... So that's what we have. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Um, if anybody has, again, any other questions or questions on something that's not Quanta Capsule related, we do have about, you know, a little bit more than 10 minutes left. It's not really enough time to do a scan or a training. So happy to open the floor for any questions anyone has. If there are any. You guys are so quiet. No questions?
You're going to get out of school early today? <laughs> um, and right. so if you guys don't have any questions, um, Claire, do you have anything you want to add or Connie, anything about the, I know Margaret likes my graphic, so I'll put in a good word for that one. <laughs> Yeah, I like your graphics. Um, they're good. Um, I think we're spoiling people with the quantum capsule. They get almost their own entire genius experience. So. I know, they do. They it's amazing. Do. So um, anyway, yeah, they get they they really can do a lot with it um, and adjust it quite a bit if they know what they're doing. So anyway, um, is it one email and code per session? Uh, again, um, you could send as many codes as you want to your client. That's up to you and how you want to run your session. Remember, every once they upload the code, it only lasts for seven days. So if you wanted to send them four codes so it would last them a month, Let's say they have monthly sessions. That's your choice to do that. I mean, that you know, that's how you your relationship with your client. If you only want them to have access to the code for seven days, and then they need to schedule a session with you to get another code, that's how you know you choose to run your your practice and your business. So, um, the only thing that is unchangeable is the amount of time that that code lasts and it only lasts for seven days once it's uploaded oh each time you upload the capsule do they get another email yes uh, they get a, an email when we send the code so if i in in one session i sent them four codes they would get four emails yes every time i sent it and just to say, you don't have to wait the full seven days till you send another lot of code. You right. can just send new codes after two days or, you know, midweek or. Right. So if you're working on a client and they want to address sleep issues, you can send them the frequencies for just sleep issues. If you've ran frequencies for detoxing, you could send them those frequencies just for detoxing and so on. And then when they open it up, they can choose to run the detox frequencies or the sleep frequencies. So, but again, that is, you know, up to you as a practitioner on how you want to work in and engage with your client. Everybody may have different ways to do that. Uh, Margaret's asking, how many days do you have when it starts saying expiring soon? It sometimes just says expiring soon and not the number of days. Um, I, well, it's going to say where you load the items. I think how many days left. Let me just see. Mm hmm. My playlist is saying expiring soon, but that was uploaded on the 30th of the 6th. Right, but it's going to give you the, well, it says expires in six days, so that it doesn't, it, that's not going to update every day? I've never looked that closely at it before, to be quite honest. Where, can you see? So it says expires in six days. So in two days, is that going to say expires in four days? Yes, maybe the expiring soon, which is that one, top one. Okay, and I guess they're just going to have to do the math. I mean, when it was downloaded, it's you know, like seven, seven days. days. Yeah. It's kind of now. They're pro they probably just need to have more calculations in there that they didn't put in to have you know the exact amount of days so um you know they're just going to have to keep track of when they uploaded it 
Anything else? And just, and I would send your, your clients those um, videos um, or have them review the videos before they um, watch to set up because usually when there's issues with the Quanta capsule, a lot of times they're putting in the wrong email address. So just be careful because sometimes practitioners may have a business email, but that may not be the email that's associated with your genius. So if the client puts in, let's say the business email that you have, but that's not your genius email, it that it's not gonna go through. And that's where we find a lot often when people call up and say the capsule's not working or we need something done they can't send me their stuff and they're freaking out it's usually uh, you know an email typo or some kind of uh, you know miscommunication on what the email is so just always be really clear on what that is and if you have like that business email that's different from your genius email I would I would say it's probably a good idea to make them the same just so that they don't have that confusion but you know sometimes you can't it's not a perfect world but just make sure that they know they need to put in your genius email when they want to send you their picture or whatever information they want to upload and again the same make sure that they're giving you you know their quant the email that they registered their quanta capsule with a lot of times people set it up and they forget what they set it up with <laughs> and then you end up with problems so um for troubleshooting always just um make sure that you have those right before um you check in because usually that's the problem and let's see and Margaret saying under the playlist title, it sometimes says, oh, okay, expiring soon. They can buy it. Uh, so they can buy, can they buy a capsule from the practitioner or the website? On your genius, um, you can, they can purchase, the practitioner can purchase the Quanta capsule and sell them to their client. Does that make sense? So through the genius in quantum membership. Okay. V has a hand raised. Uh, oh, V. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. <laughs> um, I got in a little late, mm -hmm. so I don't know if you have already mentioned this, but it's just some people might not know that they can name the playlists. Did you talk about that? Yes, we in did. The, the capsule. Playlist, you can. You okay, can. good. Okay, okay. So the only thing that happens that's though, very is helpful. when you Especially. when you name the playlist, I like naming it. But for those that may want it, once you name it, the day that you upload it disappears. So, um, you know, maybe they want to, you know, include what day it will expire from the beginning so that they have that information. You may want to tell them if, if that is an issue for them. I mean, some people won't need to know like the exact day it expires, but um, you want to put in on the I title. Usually put, yeah, I, I usually put the date that I sent it. I'm not, I mean, I don't know if that helps anybody or not, but I put the date I send it um but well, anyway say that you know you were talking about the, that the seven days starts so okay. the day that they upload it if they want to edit you know and say you know uh, minerals they could put expires and they could figure out what seven days is and put that right there on the title name for that custom playlist and maybe that will help um since it only says expiring soon, maybe, you know, that will just give them a better sense of when it expires. Hi, this yeah. is Pam. I have a question. Sure. So if I want them to uh, use the same one particular uh, playlist 
you know, uh, week after week. Is there a way I can do that? You'd have to send them the same playlist week after week. It's going to expire in seven days. We can't change that. So, so if you choose to send... all over again. Sorry. So then I have to run that all over again and then send it because there's no other way. Correct. But, you know, let's just say, for example, you're, you're sending them their minerals, right? And they're going to yeah. use that for seven days. You could, in that one session, send it to them for argument's sake four times so they can listen to it for four weeks. But I don't know that that's honestly the ideal thing to be doing because they may not need all those vit those minerals. They they may need different ones. So depending on what they're you're sending, it's it's optimally it's better if you send them weekly or you know run a new session because not everything is if if everything is doing what it should be doing they should be balancing how about the um you know bioterrain uh primer what do you mean what's if i you, have if i send them the bioterrain primer uh you know include everything in it and then ask them to kind of uh, do it every week. Um, well, you could, but the, the one code is only going to last for seven days. So you would need to make the decision if you're going, going to send it to them seven, uh, you know, four times in from that session and they have four codes, or are you going to um, run it, you know, again the following week and send them the code that that you need to decide how you're going to do that okay. okay thank you you're welcome anyone else well it's three o'clock if we don't have any more questions um does anybody have anything that they would like to go over next week or um that they want to help with that we can do a training on next week or um, we can just run with a different topic or different topics. You can email me, Denise at Inside Health Apps, and I would be happy to. Neuro Remedy. Yes, we can do that, Margaret. And thank you for reminding me because that um, I think was corrected in um, this last update. So Connie, you heard this here. Next week, we're doing Neuro Remedies. So um everybody i look forward to seeing you all next week and we will go over neuro remedies so play with it a little bit this week see if you have any questions and we will dive into neuro remedies next week all right have a great week everybody so good to see you and we will talk soon bye bye